you know i never imagined that a piece of my art mm. would get sold for six thousand three hundred dollars she has sold an art for the price of 3.1 million naira through chris hoskinson founder of ethereum and cardano two of the biggest cryptocurrencies in the world she has also sold art to other big clients like this hotel in barcelona she did all this while living and working in nigeria she's a self-taught ballpoint pen artist whose studio is at ibado nigeria welcome to the wealth in nigeria series where i talk to young nigerians to explore how they make good money while living and working in nigeria one important thing you're going to learn in this video is how being on twitter can make you a whole lot of money by the way this video was sponsored by obx finance more on them later in this video for now i give you oyin damola Good afternoon. My name is Oye Damola, Oye Kemi, Oye Wumi. I'm a self-taught bubble pen artist. So like, um, when did you start drawing? I see you. I've been drawing since I was a little child. Hmm. Since I was a very little child. Well, I actually took it up professionally uh, five years ago. Hmm. That was when I took it up professionally, when I drew a portrait of my mom and I put it up online. And the engagement I got on it was encouraging. Mm. You know, I had a lot of commissions from it. Where so was that? Where was that? Actually, yeah, that was uh, five years ago. Five years ago. I was uh, yes, I was still in the university then, so mm. I just did something. I think I was doing my IT. I was, mm. it was doing my IT. So the five years ago, I, I actually drew a portrait of uh, I think for our birthday, you know, mm. just to give us something. And you know, when I put it up on Twitter and WhatsApp, yeah. the engagement was you know encouraging, and yeah. it actually encouraged me mm. to start taking commissions mm. you know before i used to draw for fun like i would just draw for fun and put it up like sometimes i don't even get to upload them mm. i just leave them on my um on my drawing uh, sketch pad for anybody who really cares to appreciate i will show my parents my siblings and all so but you know something just prompted me to actually put it up on twitter that day and mm. you know after putting it up on twitter and the engagement was like you know the thing just kept going did you draw this did you draw this can i get one for myself can i do this do you how much do you charge i felt mm. like oh really that was that was that really actually. good <laughs> that means that really good. yeah oh, that's cool that's yeah cool. but if i compare it to my present drawing now i can't say it was <laughs> i can't say it was good but you know for uh on, like any layman saying art to be like oh this drawing is nice but for me mm. i can't say Hmm. that it's, it's actually my best you know? yeah okay well you know that was actually my starting point that was my starting point that's cool um so like um um the nft you sold yes <laughs> that was a I very <laughs> that was a very can I say, say can i say that was the happiest hmm. moment as in till now that's actually the happiest moment i have had during hmm. my art experience hmm. you get it you know, I never imagined that a piece of my art mm. would get sold for six thousand three hundred dollars. Like mm. I never, ever, ever mm. imagined that. You know, I just drew the art, put it on online, and you know, I never expected Charles Oxenson to even see it. Yeah, you get. Was that so, even his? Was that even his picture? Yeah, it's his picture. It's, oh, you actually drew his picture. Yes, the founder. Yeah, the founder of um, Cardano. Cardano. Yeah, um, Charles Oxenson. Yes. Wow. Yeah, Charles Oxen So mm. I actually well, well, you know after drawing it and he saw it, mm. I was I never expected it. It, it actually happened in the midnight. Like mm. it was in the midnight for me. I just didn't call regular try to upload my art and you know to just um push it a little, let's say to advertise and start under some tweets. Mm. And luckily for me, I just got to um advertise under a particular tweet. I don't. I can't remember the tweet I would, um advertise under. Yeah. So I just like um here's here's a video to my drawing, blah blah blah. And Charles Oxy said saw it. <laughs> he, he saw the art. Actually, he retweeted. Yeah. He made it his um DP yeah. on Twitter for like yeah, it was it was like amazing. <laughs> really, this <is> my art. <laughs> and the old Charles also say stay like hmm. really. Hmm. So actually then he actually dm'd me asked me if i was on that jury and i you know the dm was he told me i was like 
Charles Oxington, really. <laughs> Do you understand? So <laughs> it was you're not expecting something and boom. Yeah. And just ah. Uh, I was just looking at myself like this. Ah. Uh, is this me? Like I want to check it again. Like I was like, I'm dreaming. Pinch Fast yourself. Yeah. Many followers. People started mm. following me on mm. Twitter. I started following me. Did you do this? Did you do that? I had a lot of commissions from that part. Mm. Like mm. a lot of commissions. Actually made me join the Cardano community. Wow. You get. I started mm. having series of interviews. I in fact I, I just actually fell in love with the whole community itself. Mm. Because you know. Charles Oxenstein was actually the one that brought me into uh, NFTs or mm. say crypto itself. Yeah, I I'm not someone that actually knows that. Usually, I I never knew anything about NFTs. Mm. And, you know, Charles Oxenstein to ask me, "Do you know anything about NFTs?" I was like, "No, no, yeah, <laughs> no." You know, and at, at that point, I was feeling sleepy because I didn't sleep all through the day and mm. the previous because I had loads of commissions in my head. So he sent me um. Uh, what's the name of this thing? Uh, a link hmm. to where I could read about uh, NFTs. Hmm. I was like, in fact, still, still after sending the link, I really didn't like understand it because you know, I was actually new to the whole thing. I told him that, okay, could you give me uh, like a day to hmm. go through it and understand what's about hmm. before you know? I didn't want to be too forward. Yeah. I, I didn't, you know, I just had to read about it. Then yeah. I read about it and I told him, okay, I, I understand a bit about it. And he told me, um, when I said it, that uh, if I permit him to sell it in a, in a tweet and he actually ushered the heart, mm. the, the, the work itself. Mm. And luckily for me, it got sold for $6,003. Mm. So <laughs> it was, pretty amazing for me like when i told my friends my friends were like uh-huh how can charles oxen say even follow you yeah <laughs> like not to even talk of saying you're chatting with him mm-hmm. and you know the man has actually in fact i don't know he brought me into nfts that's what i would just yeah. say he mm-hmm. opened my eyes mm-hmm. into nfts mm-hmm. yeah. mm-hmm. that's really cool like i remember that time i saw it all like how did this even happen <laughs> But it's one of your friends. Yeah, I, I really can't see how it happened. Honestly, I cannot even explain how it happened. So just magic. Because I I, I, know, I remember that time when when I when I saw the news, I just went to your Twitter and I scrolled through, and it wasn't like you were so into NFTs before anything like that. I saw yes, the Yes, I wasn't into right. NFTs at all. Like <laughs> wow. at all, at mm-hmm. all. I wasn't into it at all. He actually opened my eyes. He sent me the link to read about yeah. NFTs, which mm-hmm. I did. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He actually showed me some of the tweets he actually sold to and yeah it was just like that oh so he sold like it that. he sold it for you like he did the auction himself yeah okay. yeah he did, it. Mm. he did it and he sent me all the proceeds like mm. all of the proceeds wow no holding back wow it, it was it was just like like a miracle mm. on what platform so what, what platform? if i should keep talking about i you know when he sold it, he sold it on in his in his tweet rather. Okay, in his tweet. He sold okay. it in his tweet. So it wasn't yes, it wasn't on um, OpenSea or I, I I can't really say it was on OpenSea. I can't remember. Can't okay, 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 okay. I, I can't remember when he sold it. <laughs> that's cool. That's yeah. really cool. Like that's really cool. So so you said that okay. you 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 drew him, so you knew him yes. before then. You knew him before then. Oh, no, no. So what did like you... I knew him. Mm-hmm. Like, like, like you knew oh, about knew him. him. Or did you see his picture or something? Okay, it was like this. Okay. A friend of mine. Yeah. Who is actually a diehard fan. Mm. He's actually a crypto person. Mm. Uh, uh, Ahmed. Ahmed, okay. That's his name. So, yeah, he, he actually... Um, was actually trying to talk to me about an NFT though, but mm. you know, he showed me his picture, showed me Charles' picture, like mm. the picture and all, like told me to read about Charles because he was actually into the Can- Cardano community too. Mm. So what, uh, you know, I just saw the picture from him, and you know, I actually loved the particular pose, mm. you know, the bird, the bird sitting on on, on Charles' mean, shoulder. shoulder yeah. I kind of love it, like you know. It kind of means to me. I feel. I feel. Bird, you know, when I see a bird, especially in a post, mm. I think it's it's um, the big um, freedom. Mm. You know, you know this 
freedom and you know it's it actually just caught my attention wow and i drew it wow okay not knowing that it would blow up this. Hmm. Hmm. yeah i never knew it would blow up. i never knew i never knew it would blow up even when i advertised when i tried to um, promote the tweet like yeah. when i uploaded the tweet yeah i never i didn't even tag any crypto person hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. If I was a crypto person, I would have. Yeah, like, you know, I, I, I know you'd have promoted this, like this, you know, this, 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 probably even tag him. Ciao. Exactly. I I never promoted it. I know. I I didn't. I didn't. Hmm. I didn't at all. Hmm. So that was how it happened. Wow. That's that's cool. So so like that brought you into um NFT. So how's how's it been since then? Did you continue? Did you try to continue? well well presently i have some of my um nfts on open sea yeah i listed about uh four arts if you go yeah. through my page i even uh, listed i think you listed a collection i yeah? minted one with yesterday yes yes yeah um, so a, a, girl, I, a girl in my mind i think there's a name of the a girl in my head girl, a girl yeah. in my head one yeah two uh, my love and charles on the house <laughs> yeah those are those are my hearts presently on nft mm. and on open sea rather Hmm. I am also with NFT Ops. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so they use um Cardano blockchain. Hmm. So um, I'm with them. I have uh, about two. Yeah, yeah. I have two NFTs there. Hmm. I actually sold some of my NFTs on Madden Art platform. Hmm. Hmm. I sold um ten pieces of um three NFTs. Hmm. Yes. Yeah. So those are and i sold one one uh, immediately after my after that sale, after that sale i actually yeah. sold to actually know what nft is, is about you know i never tried it myself mm-hmm. it was charles actually, yeah, charles, was, um, did actually you know, orchestrated yeah. it yeah exactly so i actually did my myself that was actually the first nft actually uh, nft I actually did minted mm-hmm. myself and mm-hmm. I, I actually got it sold on um, mm-hmm. mintable yes i got it sold on mintable mintable okay so those are the nfts Hmm. Hmm. Like, but I, I still plan on working on more pieces okay and you know get them sold. Get them sold. oh that's cool that's cool oh, so makes sense makes sense definitely I, I i know that the space is the space is still infant but i know that there's a lot of ups- yeah, there's a lot so, of there's a lot of expansion yeah. that is still going to come to it so yeah, you get you guys you guys are in it man I, i'm really envious of you artists like <laughs> You guys, you guys are in it, man. You guys are going to kill it. You can be an artist, so it's not too late, you know. Not too late, yeah. <laughs> it's not too late. It's not too late. <laughs> That's cool. So you have to be creative. That's yeah, it. true. Now, if you've enjoyed this video so far, I would love to know. So please click the thumbs up button to like the video and let me know. So, like you said, so I, I was going to ask you if the thing, if the sale increased, like. Um, the value of your art in general yeah actually the value of my house in general actually increased hmm. it has hmm. actually increased because firstly my client base actually hmm. changed hmm. you know usually before the whole international exposure yeah. i used to have um, nigerian clients yeah you get hmm. but now hmm. i can say that at least i have international clients now i have clients from spain wow. from uh dubai I have from US, UK. Hmm. I have lots of clients, like you get not yeah. Nigerian clients. Not anymore. Nigerian so clients. Automatically, yeah. automatically, my value increased. Yeah, hmm. yeah. That's, so, that, that's, that's really like that. cool. so. I, I, it's not just. <laughs> if, I think the good thing is not just um, NFT, also traditional like media, like yeah, yeah, yeah. So, do you use? Do you use it to sell yourself? like that whole the fact that you've done that the fact that you have that in your history in your career history like do you use it to pitch yourself i'm sure like it, it's something that you actually use and like you yeah, have done exactly. this <laughs> exactly I, yeah, why wouldn't i it's an achievement for me yeah uh, it's an achievement so it definitely I, mm. it's, and it actually makes um it's better and easier for people to actually trust me you know exactly. fine most of my clients have not even met me in person 
Mm. You get more, yeah. in fact, about 90% of my clients have never met me in person. In person, yeah. But when I tell, if, if, you, come, if you come to my page, um, try to commission me, I'll be like, how, how, how can I trust you? Mm. I'll give them some of my, you know, I actually add um, my news on um, legit.ng and Coindex. Coindex actually interviewed Ooh, me too. And Coindex. you know, automatically those kind of, yeah, yeah. Um, a journalist from working with Coindex yeah. actually interviewed me. So automatically, hmm. it's like, so if I show them all this and hmm. they still find it difficult to trust me, then that, that's I don't problem. know what else to that's, say. That's your problem, so, man. Like, mm-hmm. So if I have never even had any issues, uh, trust issues from any of my clients, because by God's grace, you know, I I actually have um, uh, 18.9 thousand followers on on Twitter. And, you know, it's not possible for me, if for me to have actually uh, maybe fucked up or should I say misbehaved on uh, on my social media, you know, nobody would drag me. Hmm. You get, I am open. I give them my page, like, go check through. Hmm. If you see any form of dragging or anything, then come patronize me exactly mm, mm, mm. it's like that and thank god now i have a studio so i give them my address if you yeah. want if you want any form of confirmation yeah. come and check come over I'm here i'm always here mm, cool. exactly cool 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 that, that's really cool hey, what kind of pen do you like i look at your art and i'm like you're a pen artist <laughs> i'm like how yes <laughs> ballpoint pen artist strictly mm. ballpoint pen artist Mm. but that doesn't mean i i, I can't use other mediums mm. okay but you know i the kind of pen i use i use the regular pens that you people use I I regular pen that we use in writing mm. i use uh big i use i use big by pen mm. i use um i don't know if you know schneider yeah i know schneider i use schneider pens mm. i use um sometimes sometimes i use tedler Hmm. But you know, no, not really. But since I have um, something, um, something I can use to support, I mean, to something like I can, as a replacement, rather. So I use uh, um, Schneider instead of Stegler. Okay. And sometimes I use um, pens. So that actually re- uh, made me remember the story. There was a time that um, someone gifted me a old jar hmm. of easy pens. Hmm. Like, yeah, they. Uh, I I think um, the person actually works with um, uh, events. Hmm. Okay, maybe. Uh, so he actually saw a, a drawing I did. I think it was. Is it? Is it that it was Charles' drawing that he saw? Hmm. Saw this the the the, the work and was like, "You're good. I I actually want to um, support." Yeah, assist you. And he actually gave me. Yes, he actually gave me a whole jar of uh easy pens i'll show you easy pens this is easy pen hmm. i use it i use it to whenever i want to do my uh monochrome ballpoint yeah. pen art so so <laughs> basically those are the kind that those are the only pens i use those that those pens i don't know i don't know like normal pens that we used to write yeah I, that's what i said yeah normal writing pens it's true. Yeah. Wait, so so say, like yeah. So like how many colors do they do you have them in like various colors or just blue and red yes 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 we have them in various colors we have about some five colors okay 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 okay, okay. We okay. Have, um, do you mind if i show you some of them sure 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 okay we have um i have i i so i have uh brown yeah this is brown okay brown pants i have um this um fluorescent green hmm Hmm. There is um this light blue. I think they call it cyan or so. Yeah. Light blue. Hmm. Uh, there is um pink. Actually, hmm. one of my favorite. Hmm. Pink. Hmm. I love pink because actually there is no drawing I make that I wouldn't have a pink on the tongue in it. Hmm. I have um. I want to show you my my precious. This this is orange. Hmm, 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 hmm. Orange, then the normal red. Yeah. Blue. Hmm. We have uh black. Hmm. Yeah, that's you see they are regular pens. Regular pens, green. yeah. Yeah. Wow. Exactly. So those are those are my pens. I, I have yellow too, but I think it's in, it's in the car. Hmm. My my other pen is in the car. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's really cool just imagine what you're doing with something that we we just consider like we just used to write and stuff exactly 
Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> you, you started out Thank as a you. ballpoint, as a as a pen artist, or you, something just led you to that yes, to that I've medium. Always drawn with pen. Oh, you've always drawn with pen. All from the pen. Yes. Mm. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Yes. That's cool. Like I see the details and I'm like, you know, you're you're just good. Like you're really good. I mean, look at look at those three behind you. I'm like. Yeah. Yeah. This is um, Pablo. Pablo Escobar. Pablo Escobar. Yeah, the smoke, the yes. smoke. Like, is it a pen that I used to draw yeah. that? Or there's a white yes. pen? Everything. No, there, there's actually white gel pen, hmm. but I didn't use white pen. Yeah. Okay. I okay. just drew it. Like, you want me to teach you something? So it's about illusions. Hmm. You, you just um, you just draw it as you see, so you make people believe they are saying what they are saying. What they are saying. Hmm. I don't know if you understand it. Fine, what you're saying I, I, here I probably is not just uh, it's not white so yeah it's not just white. If mm. you if you check deeply, if you check deeply, you see that um we have shades of blue, black, yeah. brown, mm. pink in that smoke that you're seeing as white. Mm. Wow. Now that would require a lot of science, man. Like <laughs> honestly, honestly, I wouldn't lie to you. But when pen art is not something you can just just do anyhow and say I just want to work, I just want to work. It requires mm. patience, mm, mm. like a whole lot of patience. Mm. It requires patience. So if you don't have patience, mm. trust me, you can't be a bubble pen artist. Mm. Because once you 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 just make mistakes, once you shade the way you're not supposed to shade, for That's you to right. cover it up, <laughs> not it's not it's not a game. In fact, it's not a joke wow. at all. Wow. So if you know you don't have patience, so bubble pen art it's not for you, yeah. drawing is not. For Hmm. Obiax gives you a better tr- crypto trading experience. Instantly swap your crypto tokens without waiting for confirmations. Swap your volatile tokens to more stable assets and vice versa with initial value locked in even as confirmation pens. Send crypto to your peers using your username. You can also earn referral bonuses when you get your friends to join and use the mobile app. Go to www.obx.finance to get started. So, um, how long did it take you to like draw your? There's one of your art I saw on Twitter. I think you you had like multiple change of clothes. So I just thought that this must have taken you days. I think it's a picture of a family in Dubai or something like that. Hey, see that family picture? Yeah, hmm. it actually took me about three weeks. <laughs> Yeah, it's actually, wow. in fact, that three weeks was at my best. Hmm. Wow. Like, was at my best. Though it was during festive period, yeah, sometimes I wouldn't go to the studio, but Tokyo. still, it was at my best. So like, that's your best. The three weeks. Hmm. But there was actually a piece of art that took me six months to complete. Wow. Like, it's my personal piece. You could check it on my page, though, okay. on Instagram. I wrote it there. It took me six months hmm. to complete. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh that's but crazy. usually, that same size, mm. I have used two weeks to complete that particular size before. Mm, 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 mm. So that is what that is why I would bring this in. That sometimes drawing actually depends on the mood mm. of an artist. Mm. Yeah, I actually have um some uh, pieces I've been working on for a while. Though I've not updated any of it. It's meant for uh, it's, it's actually a project. Okay. I'm meeting them soon. Oh. Say next week, hmm. yes, there are um, five pieces of um, NFTs. So, those those arts it got to a point that I couldn't do anything. I was like, my brain was not booting, <laughs> I was disturbed. Like, I, I didn't even know what to do. Hmm. You hmm. get hmm. so that means my coach was not even just drawing anything that day. Hmm. So, I just had to sleep, watch movies. Yeah, you get hmm. believe, believe you me. The next day, that th- those ideas just started popping out. Popping out, yeah. Just started coming, like fine, and I drew the heart in no time. I finished wow. it. But wow. if I had forced myself to draw it that day, that I wasn't in the mood, <laughs> hey, it wouldn't be funny hmm. at all because it would look like you are stressing my life. Exactly. It would look like ah, I'm not feeling this thing. I'm just drawing because I have to. Hmm. Hmm. And that is that is not what art is. Hmm. You, you shouldn't be. Forced. You should enjoy the process, yeah. 
what exactly you should draw it and you should draw and enjoy you should create and enjoy not like ah oh, I, i can't wait to just finish this thing i'm tired of the whole process no mm. that's not art you should enjoy what you do <laughs> yes right. cool cool so um what kind of work do you do for people that like commissions I, yes i actually do different works depends on what they want they actually act yes exactly what they want i do um single like just a uh, single face hmm. i do couple hmm. i do family i in fact i do a whole lot and uh, some my people re- request that okay i use my head some abstract and all hmm. it depends on what they want and sometimes it's one of my regular pieces some people will see and be like ah, i love this all right how much is it you can hmm. get and buy hmm. yes no, that's cool so like um apart from your nft what was your biggest sale so far probably in your like your traditional media okay okay i have um actually sold some parts lately i actually sold one art to um a print of of, of an art hmm. to cardano hotel hmm. in as in barcelona Whoa. i'm actually yeah I actually sold some art to in fact can I say that most of my art that I get sold out of the country hmm. are actually the biggest like, yeah biggest. Hmm. because you know it's not easy to sell um art works of like 1 million 500,000 yeah in Nigeria, in Nigeria. It's really not easy so hmm. some people will come to my studio and be like ah, how much is this for because there's some art over hmm. um here yeah. so I do I I don't want to change the setup of this thing because it's actually yeah. not very easy to set it back. Yeah. There's one of my pieces here that is actually 120,000. Someone mm. walked up to my studio and actually saw the hat. How much is this, Auntie? I said 120,000. Ah, ordinary photo. Ah. Auntie, that's oh, what I said it to. Oh, oh no, what are you doing now? <laughs> exactly. Oh. Ordinary photo is 120,000. Ah, you, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know it permit me to speak to you about because that's what uh, I said it to you. I said, I'll add a line in you. Uh, that, that, uh, that's too much, I man. was, I was, I was like, God. <laughs> so you can now imagine, hmm. you can imagine what I'm, so in fact, the, the art that I've sold out of the country is actually, uh, actually those, like I said, they're my biggest sales, hmm. apart from my NFT. And you spend a lot of time on it, so you have to get value for the time you spend. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yeah. So, That's it. so you personally, what's your favorite art? The one you've done ever, ever. Oh, my favorite. Can I call one my favorite? I love all my. Hearts. I know. You, I know you love all of them. Definitely. <laughs> I, know, I, know. I actually love all my heart. Hmm. But my favorite. Hmm. Eh? Yeah. It's still Charles Joy. <laughs> Because yeah. that's actually my lucky charm. Yeah. Apart, 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 <laughs> apart from like the story behind it is just it's just like it's yeah. epic. It's epic. Yeah. I I I love this one too. Hmm. Hmm. This particular one. Hmm. Yes. Yeah. Because I think there's, there's water on it. Like there's water on yes, it. Yes. There is. I, let me try to move it. Uh, okay. Thank you. I want you to see it very well. Wow. I respect people that draw water like this. Like it's just crazy. Ah, it's not easy. It's really 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 not easy drawing. Mm-hmm. Honestly, it's not. Yeah. Wow. Look at it. This is actually my one of my favorites. Hmm. Because I have lots of favorites. I can't just say this is my favorite, your favorite. because I created all of them. Yeah, true. <laughs> so I meant to love all of them. You're like your babies, you like your children and yeah. I get you that. Yes, I call my hearts my babies. Hmm. If you notice, I actually call my hearts my babies. Hmm. <laughs> because hmm. it's my creation. Hmm. 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 That's cool. Yes. That's cool. So do you have any other artists in your family? No. I I I don't have any other artists. My apart from my daddy. That was your dad. My But my dad is not professional about it. He just loves to do. It's actually my inspiration. My parents are my inspiration anyway. They mm. they are very supportive. Mm. In fact, my parents are the reasons why I'm still drawing to it. They are very very supportive. Mm. You get. You know there are some parents that don't even support their children. Definitely. I actually studied pure and applied chemistry in Nigeria. Exactly. I studied pure and applied chemistry. So some parents will be like. You are doing chemistry. You're studying chem- chemistry. Why are you an artist? Hmm, 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 hmm. You get yeah. yeah so, yeah, but my parents have been supportive. So I can only say my dad is the only 
person I can call an artist in our house because my mom she can't draw nada. <laughs> <laughs> my mom is always surprised when I get to draw. I, there was a day I actually gave her. That was last year. Mm. No, yeah, last year June I gave her uh, a drawing of herself. She can't just keep stop looking at it because. Mm. That drawing, it was more like a, it was more like um, a surprise. Yeah. She wasn't expecting it. Okay. I was with her in the house. Mm. I would just carry the work to the studio, quickly walk, and but I didn't drop the work at home. I went to drop it to my sister's house. Mm. So on her birthday, I presented her. She was almost crying. <laughs> wow. Yeah, because it didn't look so real, and she wasn't expecting it. That's actually the beauty of art. It actually makes people happy. Yeah. yeah. True. 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 That because that that effort when you st- when you think about it that someone put this much effort to make this thing this realistic is actually mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that's it that's it <laughs> that's cool that's cool it was nice to have this conversation really I'm I'm, I'm very fascinated right. I I I draw actually like I used to draw really? um, yeah really? yeah yeah wow yeah two dates uh right now more I do more graphic design. But not graphic mm-hmm. art, just graphic design. Do you get? But mm-hmm. I used to draw when I was little, and I was quite good at it. But the only day my dad told me that Victor, you, should, you shouldn't be doing this. Do you get? So like you said, there are some parents. It, it was like it's not lucrative. That do I want to be doing this? In fact, I'm going to show you this video. I'm going to send this YouTube video. To you. <laughs> I'll tell you to remember when you told me to stop drawing. <laughs> now look at Oni. Look at what she's doing. <laughs> I'm going to send it to him. I'm going to send it to him. Okay. So, very fascinated with artists and you know it was nice to have this conversation really really I'm honored. yeah I'm honored. so thanks a lot for coming on this on the world army channel to do this video thank you so much okay, thank you so, so much for having me most success really to your art career thank you thank right you i wish you the same thank you so much right have a nice day have a nice day to me what a wonderful interview if you enjoyed this video with Oni Damola please send her some love by typing her name out in the comment section one important lesson I learned from Oni Damola is that whatever you do promote yourself promote yourself so well online especially on Twitter I go to Oni Damola's Twitter even till today and I see how aggressively she promotes her art you see you only need one hit just one and that will set your ground rolling Twitter is a very open platform where you can meet and reach a lot of people that are not necessarily following you, no matter what kind of business or no matter what kind of skill you're trying to promote. So I hope one thing you get from this video is that you start hustling on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching this interview. I hope you enjoyed it like I did. Have a nice day and I would love to see you in the next one.